Hi, welcome back. This is Debbie. What I want to talk about today is temp on res. And in the last video, we talked about resers, which really helps the person who buys the product use it. But a temp on res is a vendor system that allows you to temporary res your product. And that allows you then to display your product so someone can see it in real life and possibly even interact with it without it taking a lot of prim space in your retail shop. Now this is a vendor system that can either, you can buy it as a gift, you can buy it for yourself, or you can temporarily res the thing that's being sold. And the way they're selling this is by making these temporary resers the product. So if you were to buy this temporary resor, you could do exactly what this system is doing. And I clicked res and what it does is it reses temporarily a full-blown product that you're trying to sell. Now these can either be set to temporarily res them or to leave that resed and interactable until someone comes to res the next choice, which means you've loaded all of your products in the vendor system, but only one of them is viewable at a time. So instead of needing a lot of space to display large scale items, especially if you have several items that you're selling, this allows you to res and display only one at a time but a full-size model of that so if somebody wants to sit on it if so you know whatever your product is supposed to do that's what will happen there's several of these systems here and I left the address bar at the top so that you can see where I am when I'm doing this but it gives you information a lot of these are very user-friendly and these note cards will tell you exactly how to set these systems up. Now, they're not cheap. I think this one is about $1,900, but you just need to know that they're out there. If you're making one product for this, um, th for this class, then that's fine. But you need to know that these are out there if you start making multiple products and you want to be able to sell it somewhere where the customer can experience it before they buy. Um, of course, if you own an island, you can put a lot of things out there, but until you become rich and famous as a, as a business person in Second Life, this will have to do. The thing I want to show you now is how you can also give your customers the opportunity to experience something again before they buy it. Used to be you had a crapshoot when you were buying clothing you could uh, buy it and you could put it on and it looked terrible. Now a lot of clothing designers are creating these demo models that you can try on which are basically full-scale models but they do something to make you realize you haven't gotten a freebie. They will either make the thing that's a demo because they offer it as a demo, they offer it for sale for nothing, but they either make it an awful color or they put some kind of trademarking on it that would be so embarrassing if you were to wear this in public that you, you just couldn't. So in the case of Blaze, now Blaze is a fairly high-end uh, dress manufacturer, dress designer. I have a fair amount of their stuff, and the reason why I buy it is because it looks real. That's that's the key to this whole thing is that if you can envision yourself really wearing something that really looks real then people are more inclined to buy it uh, the flexi prims the way it moves when you walk the whole thing makes it look more realistic than some of the other dresses I've seen in there but look what they've done pink is not my color but what they've done is they've plastered their logo all over this which it's clear if you were to ever wear this in public this is worse than wearing something with the tags on it I mean this is just it's clear to everyone that this is a demo but you can see this is one way that they've given a customer the opportunity to try before they buy here we are now with the same type of example with demos but with skins uh, in the case of the blaze dress 
those higher end dresses can go for about 700 or more lindens. I've paid up to 1500 lindens for a dress. The same thing with skins. Skins, a good skin can be 12 to 1500 linden and what makes them realistic is the shadowing the skin tone the highlights the low lights the the quality of the makeup uh, the shine on the lips I mean this really is a graphics artist's dream but you can see now I put on a demo skin and if you're at the store buying these and you want to try on a demo and you want to try on what it looks like you can do that but you're going to have these marked you know I've actually seen people out in public wearing these maybe it's a fashion statement but the whole goal is for the designer to do something they want you to see it so they can't change the color on you but what they do is they put some kind of mark on it that would prevent you from ever wearing it in public but you can still see what the product looks like and in skins this is really important because you can pay big money for a good skin and like in software development all the developments in the first one after that you're just selling copies and copies at fifteen hundred or 1200 lindens that can make some money you can see over here a different type of trademark so how you display your product is important but giving the customer the opportunity to try before they buy is becoming more and more important as there's more and more competition in second life we'll see you soon